What's up guys, gonna bring you another clang and bang workout today and the theme of today's workout is going to be the drop set. The drop set is a wonderful thing that happens all around the world in Globo gyms weekly and what we're gonna focus on is hitting a certain amount of reps at a particular weight and then as soon as we kinda hit right around that fail point, we're gonna drop the weight down and continue with another set. Drop the weight down and continue with another set and repeat as many times really as you want to fatigue the muscle out further. So you wanna to try to, during your warm up, you're gonna pick weights that you're gonna find at whatever rep scheme you want. Maybe it's sixes, maybe it's tens, maybe it's fifteens, maybe it's twenties, whatever that might be. Find out right around where when you get to that top end of the rep range. So for me today, it's gonna to be 10. I uh, pick some weights that right as I get it to around 10, it's like, okay, maybe I've got one or two more in the tank. Maybe I've got, you know, just a couple more reps left but we're gonna stop there, drop the barbell, kick some weights off, and try to grind out another 10, right? So the load continues to get less in order to maintain the intensity. And we're gonna do that with the bent over row, an upright row, and then a straight leg deadlift. So we're focusing a little bit on the back, a little bit more on the shoulders. The bicep is gonna kind of be an ancillary mover in both of these movements as well. And then uh, the straight leg deadlift, we're also gonna do it at a deficit. So I've got a 35 pound competition rogue plate there that's gonna give me about an inch and a half to two inches worth of drop. And the reason that I've got that there is because on the straight leg deadlift, I'm not gonna to touch the floor with the barbell when I go down. So it's gonna be basically under constant, constant tension. There's gonna be no bounce, right? And I'm gonna keep my knee locked out as much as possible. And the reason that I'm gonna do that, again, is to kinda um, remove the quad from as much work as possible and really focus on the posterior chain, my hamstrings, glutes, and my spinal erectors to kinda move the weight up and down. So if you've never tried straight leg deadlifts or never tried a deficit straight leg deadlift where you do not let the barbell touch the floor, I would definitely recommend it. Start with light load and kinda build from there. This workout's gonna be a blast. Hope you guys enjoy it. Let's get after it. Hands down, probably the hardest one we've done, clang and bang wise. Could be a couple factors. It is really warm in here today. It's hot. I didn't get a lot of sleep last, sleep last night. Worked out early this morning, but that thing was gross. That was really brutal. Um, and I probably picked weights that were a little bit too heavy. You're gonna notice when you watch that final round, I had to break a couple times in my sets of 10, right? Where I didn't necessarily wanna break. You wanna be able to do that drop set and get all 10 reps. Um, you know, if you're getting up there seven, eight, nine, and you have to drop maybe for one more rep or two more reps or whatever, like, okay, you're probably doing a, still doing a pretty good job, but you know, add in a little bit of hip movement to kind of help kip that dumbbell or the upright row up there, not on the deadlift, that's gonna be just all ham, hamstrings and uh, spinal erectors, glutes, all that. But uh, I should have went a little bit lighter on the weight. I lightened up the deadlift for the last round and it paid off big time because I was able to go straight through 10, 10, 10, and it was way worse, it was way more difficult. So. Don't get chesty with putting heavy weight in this workout. Um, something that you, maybe you've decided, like I decided on the 90, 80, 70, I probably would have gone 90, 70, 50. Maybe keep that top weight or your first weight heavier and make your drops a little bit bigger. My drops were for, for the most part 10 pounds and then a 20 pound drop. So I did a 10 and 20 pound drop when I dropped down the weights, I probably would have gone two 20 pound drops or uh, a 20 and a 25 pound drop, right? Um, Definitely underestimated how fatigued I was gonna be on those latter two rounds, the 10 and 10. But uh, awesome workout. Um, again, by far probably one of the hardest clang and bang ones we've done in here. Really gives you the opportunity to push yourself hard. Um, yeah, great workout. Hope you guys enjoy it. Questions down in the comments. Remember to like, subscribe, and we'll see you guys next time.